What internet search engine are you using right now? Let me guess, it's Google, isn't it? Well, you're not alone. In fact, over 90% of all internet users use it. But with the reports of Google collecting as much data as they do, you might be inclined to use a private search engine instead. But what even is a private search engine? And should you switch to one? Let's discuss. Now, you might already be familiar with certain private search engines. For example, DuckDuckGo might ring a bell. A private search engine functions exactly like any other search engine, meaning you type something into the search bar, click enter, and there are your results. Before we dive deeper, there's one thing I need to make clear, and that is that private search engine is not the same as using incognito mode. I know they might sound similar, but incognito mode still allows websites you visit to track you, which is kind of the opposite of why people choose to use it. So you should really know its limitations. All that incognito mode does is clear your session's browsing history and cookies, which is not enough to make you private or secure online. And actually, if you would like to know more about incognito mode, then go check out this video on our second channel. So how is a private search engine better than using incognito mode or a regular search engine? Well, there are four reasons in total as to why they are better. First, they don't track or sell your personal data, at least in theory. Different private search engines work differently, and I will talk about it in a later point. But in general, data collection has been on the rise these past few years. Data broker companies make a lot of money by selling your data. So in my eyes, switching to a private search engine to stop at least some of that collection is a good move. Next, similar to the first reason, private search engines also don't store your search history, so your results won't be influenced by past searches. Now, this happens to me a lot. For example, I like to know what the weather will be like in my city every other day. And for whatever reason, I don't like using any kind of weather app. I know it's kind of weird, but what I do instead is I just search for the weather on Google. After doing this a dozen times, I've noticed that Google tends to recommend me weather searches way more often than before. Obviously, this just is a harmless example of how influenced online searches work, but this can be way worse depending on what you search for. Another big reason to switch to a private search engine is the fact that they don't store your IP address in any data center. Now, it doesn't prevent websites from seeing that IP address, which is why I use a VPN to mask it. But again, it goes back to that data collection point where you may not want to share this vital piece of information. And finally, private search engines don't have targeted advertising because, well, they don't know who you are, and so they cannot offer you any relevant ads. Generally, targeted ads are not always hated, especially since they can lead you to purchasing a service or a product you like. But for me, uh, well, I tend to stay away from it if possible. So great, let's switch to a private search engine. Whoa, 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 just before you do that, you should also know that there are two main types of private search engines. One is anonymous, in other words, free, and the other one is subscription-based, in other words, paid. Now, the anonymous ones do not collect any data, yet they do need money to survive. Because of this, they are ad-supported, meaning that they may track your data if you click on any of the ads shown, just so they can make a living. The paid private search engines get their share of revenue by selling their subscription plans. So in theory, they should only collect the data that can improve your search experience and not sell it. And technically, these paid search engines are much more privacy focused than free ones. So whether to go paid or free, it comes down to how important it is for you to keep your data safe. I like to treat the free ones as a sort of a trial, so you can check if you like it or not. Then afterwards, if you like the experience, switching to a paid one is highly recommended. Speaking of which, you might be wondering which search engine you should try. Well, for that, check out the link in the description below, which will take you to our blog post listing the top nine free and paid search engines. And one last thing I wanted to mention is that you can use different search engines on the same browser. For example, on Google Chrome, by clicking on these three dots here, go to settings. Then on the left, click on search engine. Here you can pick and choose which engine your browser will use. So will you still be using Google as your main search engine or will you switch to a private one? Let us know in the comments below. But that's all for me. Take care.